Hey nonprofits, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take a photo or a series of photos and turn them into a video, kind of like the one that's appearing on my screen right now. We're gonna come back to this. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek to show you what you're in store for. Before we get into the actual tutorial, I wanted to talk about the nonprofit that I chose and why. So Pure Game is a nonprofit that I'm connected to and I know that they have very little marketing resources, similar to a lot of you. And so I wanted to pick a nonprofit that wasn't really using video, but had some photo assets to show you how easy it can be. So when I was scrolling through, I found this specific image that has a lot of stats about their impact. And so I thought this would be a really great thing to turn into a video. So I saved this photo and then I also went into their photos to find images that might make sense for the video. So I scrolled through and I found five images that I'll show you in a couple of minutes. And the thing here is I really wanted to be intentional about being resourceful. And so I want this to be something that you can go into using assets that you already have so that you can get a quick win, so that you can make a video after you watch this. So for today's training, we are going to typito.com. They are a free service that has a premium offer. And so what I mean by that is you can use this for free as long as you keep their watermark. If you don't want their watermark on it, you can upgrade to a uh, premium edition that also gives you some features like auto-generating captions. So we'll get into that in a little bit, but I wanted to let you know off the bat, this is something you can sign up for and use right away. So when you actually create an account, this is what you'll see on your dashboard. We're gonna go to create a new project and you'll see that they have so many different video formats. This is really great because if you're looking for something for a specific social media network, you can choose whichever network that is, or you can go with the traditional 16 by nine widescreen that works for most platforms. So that's what we're going to use. And I'm gonna show you in this tutorial why Typito is known as the Canva for video. And just a quick side note, if you are not familiar with Canva and you're looking to create better images for your nonprofit, we created a tutorial for that a couple of months ago. We'll link that in our description. But for Typito, the first thing I wanna show you is they have stock media. So these are free photos that you can use for your video if you're maybe missing a, a image that you need or maybe if you're completely starting from scratch and you don't have any. So if we type in children, for instance, you'll see all of the different photos with children that come up that you can use. We have selected the photos and so we're going to upload those. So I'm gonna upload the five photos here. And you'll see how easy this is. It's going to upload them and when I click continue, it's going to auto put them into a video. And what I mean by that is it's going to animate each clip or each photo for about four seconds. So you'll see on the bottom here, it says four seconds. Now, if you click on the specific um, clip or image, you'll see that you can actually drag it over to shorten it. So maybe you only want a, a photo to show for two seconds, or maybe you wanted it to be longer. That's a really quick and easy way to start editing off the bat. Um, but just by dropping in the photos, if we click play, you'll see that there is animation that's already been done so that technically if you export this, you have a cool slide, sh slide show video. Now I wanna show you some of the features because it would be great to do more than just make it a slideshow. So on the upper left-hand side, there is the menu bar and you'll see that there are different types of ways to add text, different styles that you can use. Um, even if you wanted to promote, you know, like a specific social media channel that you have, you can just click it and it's gonna appear and you could just easily change this to whatever your nonprofit's name is or handle is. Um, so that's really cool. If you don't want it, you just click that delete button and it disappears. Um, images, so one thing we can do is we can also upload your logo. And if we upload your logo, we can put this image onto the video so that it stays there throughout. 
Um, so now if we click play, you'll see that you would need to extend that length of the logo appearing so that it stays there the entire time. Um, or you could add the logo to each clip, but we recommend that you make this something that's, whoops, extending for the entire um, video. And that's how you would do it right there. You just click on the bottom, you select the logo, and then click on the bottom. So now you'll see that the logo appears throughout the video. And you may want to, re you know, rearrange the placement because we can see that it's getting into people's faces, which is not good. So if we go back to the start of the video and we maybe drag it down to the bottom right hand side, let's see how that plays out for us. Um, and as this is kind of previewing for us, we can see that the video right now is about 19 seconds, which I think is a really good time um, for getting people's attention and not being too long. So there you go. That's how you add your logo. Um, another thing that you can do is you can add music. So there are already some tracks that you can add in their library. Um, if we select happiness, you'll see it starts to play. So you can go through and add different music to this. You can even upload your own. Um, another thing that you can do is if you had more images or videos to add, you could do it here and captions. So captions is one of the premium features. And I actually love this specific tool because it lets you um, just click a button that says add captions and it auto does everything for you. So it's really great. So for this video, we want to focus on adding text. So you'll see we have titles. We have, again, social media and the lower third, and there's also a new branded option. So I wanna focus on a title for the video to start out with. And you'll notice that um, if you click on multiple lines, it's gonna show you all of them. So when you deselect them, for instance, now we're only seeing titles. So let's try this title and see how it looks. So we have make the world a better place. Obviously we're gonna change this. Um, I don't really like that title. So part of the process is just playing around with the options that they have and seeing what might work for you. Uh, I'm just gonna delete this entirely and maybe even use a lower third for the title. Um, this is actually pretty cool because it's animated. So let's see what that looks like when we click play. It might be a little bit too much movement. So I'm actually going to delete this again. And just to refresh my memory of what I wanted to put on here, I'm going to go to the image that I saved. Um, so change the game is the title. You can enrich children's lives. Our numbers tell the story of the internal narratives we already have, we have already changed. So I'm gonna use for the title, I'm gonna call it, you can enrich children's lives or pure game enriches children's lives. So let's find a title that we're happy with. Let's try um, enriching children's lives. So you'll see we can, you know, drag things and format them the way we want. Red is a very harsh color. So let's try blue. Um, you can also customize these for your specific nonprofit. So you can create your own palette so that you always have your brand colors, or you can use the color wheel to find something that um, looks good for your nonprofit. So I'm gonna just leave it as this because it is, um, oops, it is on similar colors to the brand. So if we click play, now we'll see there's a title for the video and then 
you'll see that this little orange block on the bottom is where the title is dropping in. So we can move it to only appear on the first image. So now let's take a look. So now it ends around that four second mark and now we need to add a title for the other images. So I'm actually gonna shorten this just a little bit more or I might not be able to because it's um, adding the transition time. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the first image. This one is showing um, as four seconds as well. And so if I go back to our image that we wanna convey the message, um, we'll see that they have served 3,600 kids. Um, so let's use this image to convey that. Um, so let's go with the lower third. And find an option that works. So here we go. Let's do this. Um, so say we have helped 36,000 kids, or we have served um, with your help. <clears throat> so what we, I want to do here is um, change the coloring the way that it kind of was in the beginning so that we're focusing on 3,600 kids as the message here. So you'll see um, if we move this over again so that the text aligns with this image. We now have a little bit of an overlap. And so we just need to make sure on the bottom here that the texts are separated. So if we click back to the first image and click play, we'll, we see that now we have the right spacing and timing. Um, okay, yeah. So we have served 3,600 kids with your help. So what we would do is we would go ahead and just keep adding that same um, text to the remainder of the images. So again, we're gonna shorten this just a tad. And you'll see what's happening. If you overlap, you get the second bar to come down, um, but we wanna keep it there. Um, let's click on that third image. and drop in that same style formatting text. And our second one is going to be um, 3,200. We have provided 32,000 educational hours. So let's make the focus on the educational hours. And now we have that specific messaging. Um, so let's move that over so it appears sooner and just do a quick play from the beginning to see how this looks. So obviously you can play around with moving the text in different positions and making this a little bit more polished, but I think you get the general idea and how easy it is to actually use. So now what we wanna do to get the video out of here is go to the upper right hand side and click export. And so um, let's pretend that we're done for now and click yes. And so what you'll see is it starts to export the video. So this is going to take some time depending on how many photos you have, or if you add in video clips, it could take a little bit longer. Um, but this will be ready for us to download in just a minute. And while we're waiting for this to download, I want to mention again that we are putting the link for Typito in the description for you. So if you're interested in starting and taking some photos and turning them into video, we highly encourage you to do that. Please tag us in your videos if you do that. Um, again, while we're waiting, if you are excited about this, please comment below. If you have um, specific plans today or in the next week to actually put this into action, comment below. If you found this video helpful, we would love if you gave us a like, 
And make sure to subscribe because we're going to do a lot more videos in 2020 where we're giving you tutorials. Um, maybe we'll expand on this specific tutorial and do an advanced one. But if you subscribe, you'll make sure that you're always getting our videos. Okay, so the video has finalized, it's done. Um, okay, so our video is done. And you'll see, this is what I mean by the watermark, this typito appears. And so if you did not want this to appear, you could remove the typito branding by upgrading. Another thing that you can do is you can share a public link. So if you create a video and you wanted to share it with maybe, um, other staff members or a supervisor to show them what you could create and say, hey, this is what we could do, but maybe you want the watermark removed. So if we pay for the premium branding, it will remove that. So that's a cool feature that it lets you preview the video. Um, you can download an HD. And so when you do that, it's gonna ask if you wanna remove the branding or to select, I'm okay with Taipito branding, no big deal. So we're gonna say no big deal. And this video will start to download for us, or you can share it directly onto Facebook. But this is how you create a video using photos. So if you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're gonna take action and test this, comment below, let us know. We would love to hear from you. We'd love to know who's watching. And make sure you subscribe because we're going to have new videos like this every week. And so we don't want you to miss one. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of your week.